क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इन स्लाइडर क्रैंक मैकेनिज्म ऑफ लेंथ ऑफ क्रैंक एंड कनेक्टिंग रॉड आर थ्री एम एम एंड फोर एम एम सो फाइंड एंगल ऑफ रॉस्ट ऑफ द क्रैंक सो व्हेन द एंगल बिटवीन क्रैंक एंड कनेक्टिंग रॉड इज गिवन एस नाइंटी सो एंड वेलोसिटी ऑफ द स्लाइडर इज वन मीटर पर सेकंड सो ही सेइंग दैट वेलोसिटी ऑफ द स्लाइडर इज वन मीटर पर सेकंड सो लेंथ ऑफ क्रैंक इज गिवन कनेक्टिंग रॉड इज गिवन एंड द एंगल बिटवीन क्रैंक एंड कनेक्टिंग रॉड इज गिवन सो इट्स सिंपल काइनेमेटिक्स प्रॉब्लम सो आई कैन से दिस कंप्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन योर ज्योमेट्री सो इफ यू लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम the slider crank mechanism so length of the crank so this is given as some so 3 meters and length of connecting rod is given as some of 4 meters so this is 3 meters this is 4 4 meters and he gave so velocity of the slider so velocity of the slider is given as 1 meter per second so angle between crank and connecting rod so this angle is 90 degrees and he is saying that it's an inline engine So I mean, cylinder center line and uh, so crank axis, so both are in line. So they are reciprocating the same plane. So here, so velocity of the slider is given. So at this instant, so what will be the velocity of this crank? So if you look at velocity of a crank, so from your kinematic analysis, so velocity of piston, so is r omega sine theta plus sine. So two theta by two n. So this is velocity of a slider. So when velocity of crank is known. So if you know crank angle and if you know crank velocity, you can get velocity of any other moving machine element. So I can say connecting rod or a slider. So here since slider velocity is given, so I wrote velocity for the slider. So velocity for the slider is given as one meter per second. So radius of the crank this is given as three meters. So I need to get the value of angle velocity of crank. So sine theta plus sine two theta by n. So what is this theta? So theta is nothing but so angle made by the crank so from inner dead center. So time is equal to zero. Crank is here. So I can say piston is at the top dead center or inner dead center. So theta begins from here. Theta is zero and this is theta. Theta is the angle turned by the crank. So you know this angle is 90 and this is theta and you can see this is a right angle triangle. So I can write like this tan theta. Is four by three, so theta is tan inverse four by three. So you can see, so theta is a fifty-three point so one three degrees. So crank angle is fifty-three point one three degrees. Sine, so fifty-three point one three plus sine two times fifty-three point one three divided by so two times. So this n is nothing but obliquity ratio. So obliquity ratio is the ratio of length of connecting rod to radius of crank. So length of connecting rod is given as four. This is three. So from here you can get the value of omega, which which is velocity of the crank. It is so point so five three six radian per second. 